Hi folks, how are you all doing on this wonderful day? I'm Lawrence Mann and this is the Surface Book 2. I'm doing a full colour sketch in Sketchable which you can find in the Windows Store. Now, I'm doing a drawing of a Mustang fighter jet. Don't ask me too much information, I am not up on my fighter jets. I was going to say World War II era, I think, I don't know 100%. But yeah, so... This went pretty well from the start and that's because I got my basic shape down, need a little tweak in here and there to get, you know, the kind of tail end right and, and you know, I free transformed it a little bit, but yeah, sometimes these things go horribly if you don't get the basics right, but I think straight away, yeah, I, I got it down, but I, I, I had to go over it with the smoothing brush a bit just to make all of these uh, greys kind of match in. Now, a lot of times I use black and whites and just add the colour later. This plane was a lot of grey anyway, but I was drawing on top of a blue background and most of it's grey, so it kind of fools your eye into thinking it's full colour. But obviously, other than that blue background, there's just a couple of tiny bits of red on there and most of it's black. The It's pretty detailed, but when you're drawing kind of tech, um, when you're drawing weapons and machinery and vehicles you're not drawing big splodgy marks like you are with animals there is no really really rough phase to it planes um, things like this have a lot of markings so you have to be quite accurate from the beginning otherwise it's just going to be a nightmare and a mess if you're drawing something real that's not um, a concept piece that's not totally made up then try and get a really good photo reference maybe a couple of different photo references spend at least half an hour looking at lots of different pictures from lots of different angles and that's certainly what I did in the beginning of this the surface book is great because I you always use it folded over I, I basically never use the keyboard on this thing so you could ask why not use a surface pro uh, I use the Surface Book because it's a lot more powerful. But, yeah, I, al I also find when it's folded over, it's really comfy to hold. And even if you have it sat on a desk like I am right now, it just becomes a really nice viewing angle as well. Now, I could fold it a little further up and have different folding angles, but it's not as stable. You can see now I've progressed on to adding a, a lot more detail and I can even add the letters uh, from some of my uh, reference images. I, I don't know what they mean, but I can add rivets and everything on as well. And, you know, I, I can add new layers and more and more details. And I'm pretty happy with the plane as it stands, but I can go back to that background and I can add clouds, I can blur them out. but. I can take that whole plane, make it a lot smaller. So those details now look absolutely great. And with the jet in situ, I can add a layer over the top of the whole image and color blend it. So everything's matched now because it has that kind of yellowy tinge. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I'm pretty much happy with how this turned out. And the Surface Book did an absolutely great job at helping me get that. 